Welcome, everyone. We're here. We're here. We're doing it. This is how dedicated we are to, to our craft. Yeah, and once other people show up and start yeah. paying attention to what we're doing, we're going to stop doing it. We're going <laughs> to yeah. do this. So, Good call. And we're on battery, so it might only be, you know, we're not going to be your normal hour and a half, two-hour episode. Our ain't normal, no joke. Our normal two-hour episodes. Yeah. This ain't no Joe Rogan hour, you know? <laughs> I also love the view that we have right now of just being a foot and a half away from a bunch of trucks, yeah. <laughs> a bunch of enterprise trucks. I'm going to take a picture of it for the for the Instagram right now. Nice. So if you're listening to this, I am eating candy, yes. A couple of box trucks. Mm-hmm. How do our mics sound? Sound great. How, how Should I just talk as close yep. as I normally do? Yep. Nice. Cool. Cool, nice. Yep, I think Very we're nice. yeah we're metering real nice on there. Beautiful. Ooh. I'm loving how Hello. we're metering. Check, check. Kept it at like four. Meter I'm my a, Peter. I'm always such a loud guy. Um, Yeah. I remember yeah. Uh, the singer of Parish. <laughs> Hello. What is that noise, do you think? <laughs> the singer of Parish when we were on tour with them was like, yeah, you have like a very loud voice. And I was really? like, no one has ever said that to me before. <laughs> I am offended. Am I a loud guy? No. Offensively so. I think people just sing so quiet. Yeah. Well, he was talking about speaking, too. He said yeah. that like the French language is not as, like... Yeah, right, dude. It doesn't project. It's a lot softer. And I was like, well, you know. Did whatever you say, pussy. <laughs> 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 nah, shout out Matt. I like Matt. That's so loud. That's so aggressive. I know. Well, apparently nobody says that. I, I don't know if I believe it. <laughs> I don't know. What is there to even to talk about, dude? Uh, um, we got a good breakfast. Talk to uh We did good. We did get a good breakfast. As I think opposed it to yesterday's breakfast, wreaked havoc on my stomach. You able to push some poop out? I was able to push some poop out. Um, we also were throwing back coffees, so coffee was good, man. Coffee was good. Damn, dude. I, I could drink another one if my stomach didn't hurt. I would love drinking coffee. Um, I got a bottle of lemonade instead yeah. of just like a pour. Yeah, it was awesome. They just handed you. Was it like room temp? No, it was cold. Okay. Yeah. It was good. It was cold. All right. Yeah, that was well, good. You so know. thanks for uh, <laughs> checking out the episode. We'll catch you guys next time. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, dude. The, uh, potting on tour is so strange for some reason. I got, yeah. I'm kind of digging this right now, though. I think we look cool. It's we do look cool. Hi. Hi. Um, Hello. Oh, but what I was gonna say is, like, with the the Toity stuff, it's uh, it's fun to talk about it on here. And then at these shows, people come up and are like, oh, "I love the podcast." And I'm like, "Oh shit, they know literally everything about my bowel movements." <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> like, huh? I know more about me than like my mom probably knows about me. Yeah, I, I love um, it. Your mom should listen to the pod. I don't think so. I think she fell off. Yeah. My, I, I've had some, I've talked about it a little bit, but I've had a couple, like, I did not realize how much my family, mm. especially people that, like, I do not talk to even semi-regularly, mm -hmm. have checked it out <laughs> and know about it and have gotten upset over something. What did you say? So, one <laughs> thing, um, I've talked about the one, the, the one thing. Uh, my aunt got mad because I said, uh, oh, because I, I said I don't care about people that are my blood relatives. <laughs> oh, yeah. Damn. And just like, I care about them, obviously. All I was saying is just because you and I have the same blood doesn't mean your aunt, I will hesitate anymore to cut you out of my life than another person. Yeah, no no time for fakes in your just, life. It's just like, yo... I. I'm not going to stick by you no matter what is what I was saying. And no. and you won't do the same for me. I know that. So, and this isn't specifically about my aunt if she still watches. It's just like family <laughs> members in general. I don't have a connection with my family members that way. Yeah. So fuck <laughs> you, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, and another one was because I won't name names here, but my it's known that my sister was a drug addict. Um she's not the the name I'm leaving out. The family member that got mad because she lied to her friends um and never was straight up that my sister was a drug addict because she was embarrassed, which is embarrassing in, on its in its own to be embarrassed about having a relative going through a hard time. Mm. And uh, I, one of her friends, I guess, checked it out huh. and uh, was like, "Oh, I didn't know that you're, um, you're. How do I say this without <laughs> narrowing down Careful. who the person is? I didn't know that your relative was a." Uh, was addicted to drugs at one time 
<laughs> and she was like, I told my mom that she was like annoyed that I blew her cover. And I was like, I don't give a fuck. You know what? Yo, if you're related to me, <laughs> stop watching my fucking <laughs> podcast. <laughs> it's not for you. I don't want you to watch it. And it's just making you upset. And I don't care. I, I feel no differently. I'm still not going to stick by my blood relatives. <laughs> mm-hmm. And my sister was a drug addict. So, well, I guess is. I guess he, unfortunately, you don't stop being one. Yeah. But she yeah. doesn't do drugs. So, that's nice. a, that's a Shout huge out bazinga, her. dude. If I had the bazinga drop right now, bazinga. go off, queen. For real, Z's, dude. I, I have some drop on here. We dude, can't we hear it right now. So, drops. Obama. <laughs> Obama ding. <laughs> Obama. 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 Ding. Um, did you, did, just to change subjects for a second, uh, patreon.com slash switch your band watch it can. Someone, someone subscribed to that this week and they accidentally did $2,000 for I it. I saw that and I just assumed it was like a different currency. <laughs> but then it was like they changed it to $10. They so, sent you $2,000? <laughs> so if you gave us $2,000 and it's in our account, I'll give it back to you. Message me if it's actually 2000 USD. Whoa. Um, or not, whatever you want, but reach out and I can give it to back to you. If do you, you think it. they meant to do 20 and forgot the decimal? <laughs> no. I have no idea. No way, because I think they would come back and do 20 instead of 10. It, it, I oh, think right, it was yeah, an exchange, a uh, currency exchange thing. But uh, it was weird because they like changed their pledge then. Well, I mean, if they gave us $2,000, thank you. <laughs> yeah, never, actually, no, never mind. <laughs> um, bitch. That's yeah. sick. <laughs> can, yeah, can you imagine me like, oh, I like a, this. I gotta start up. a Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> Down the off chance. <laughs> yeah, just maybe someone will just throw me a million bucks. Yeah. Ah, I missed a zero. Anytime I get bored with the podcast, I'm like, we should hang it up. I don't think either, either of us care. Yeah. Then I'm like, ah, the Patreon, though. Can't, yeah. Can't give it up for the patrons. Nah, I have fun, man. Like, especially with people being like, I love the pod. I'm like, oh, you listen? I, I know, and I like doing it. It's just like, I don't like doing anything that I have to do. Yeah, it's, yeah. it sucks. Having to keep up with anything is like, yo, I love playing music, and I feel like having to keep up with the schedule of being a musician is mm-hmm. too much for my... Yo, I'm a bitch. I say this all the time. <laughs> I, I know I complain about everything, but I'm aware that it's like on me, most of it. <laughs> Other than like sound people. They're truly the bane of my they're, existence. They're the biggest bitches. Dude, the door people the other night were my mortal enemies. Yeah. <laughs> Where did we play last night? Or what, what, what night was that? That was oh, New York? Brooklyn. That yeah, was Brooklyn they Ball. Like, that place yeah. fucking sucks. Hurrying yeah. us out the door and then closed the door so we couldn't get back in. And then we're acting like fucking pissed that we were trying. We, we were trying to get out of their hair, but they wouldn't let us. Usually I'm pretty like, candid with that kind of shit, but I do not want to ever play there again. So, yeah, yeah that, that, that New York show is just that Yo, also, rough. I don't Ruined give a vibe. fuck. Yeah. Yo, if the people suck at your venue, and I say so, you can choose to not book our band there again, but mm-hmm. like, yeah. how about you just handle your fucking people that work there? Yeah, oh. really, everyone else was fine for the whole show until the very end when they were just like stressing everybody out. I will say fuck this. Em. Sinclair, though, shout out Sinclair in, in uh, Boston. That's a great venue. Yeah, I like so that place. I've been there in so long. You guys got a good venue up there. That was a good one. Did the, uh, I'll, this is not yeah. interesting at all. Um... The the guy was telling me that the sub for the drum monitor. Didn't I didn't work. notice it. <laughs> I, I think maybe they got it working at some point, but I don't know. I will say this: a lot of times you'll check stuff and then you'll get up to play and it sounds completely different. And I was like, well, I do think that sound checking is an absolute fucking sham. Yeah, <laughs> and it has never in my life sounded the way it's supposed to when yeah. I actually played the set. I, I mean, guess it just feels like a waste of fucking time. Mostly. It's more for front of house, right? <laughs> Because I feel like my monitor mix is always just kind of like, all right, it's close enough. I don't care. <laughs> it's more, of, yeah, and more bands need to be that needs, dude. Bands that are really picky about their stage yeah. sound need to get better at being a band. I respected a uh, homie last night being like, yeah, I don't put anything in my monitors. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I just play. Yeah, I mean that's, that's kind of awesome, and that's um, I would argue the way that it's technically supposed to be. Yeah, I think monitors are a little bit of. They're helpful, but they're they're a crutch. They're training wheels. You think the Beatles had fucking floor monitors, dude? Yeah, dude. They were just singing cool. and hoping that they were hitting the notes. You know they what? Had, a lot of had, times they were they were. They had in ears. Yeah. yeah. Their inner system. Their Wi Fi well rig. Yo, bands listen, I know that the times are different and in ears are more of ex- more inexpensive than they used to be. But bands that start and like their first show is with in ears, yeah. I do not respect. How about a wireless rig though? You need that. I mean, yo, if you're doing, like, backflips with your bass and shit, like Franz or something, then a wireless makes a lot of sense. And if you're not doing that, then... Just... I think the stage size matters, too. Like, if you're playing an arena or some mm-hmm. crazy yeah. amphitheater, like, 
Yeah, you gotta <laughs> it's, I'm, I, get to your guitars forty feet away. I'm, I'm like, talking like you're saying first show getting a wireless. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> gotta go out and solo in the back of the room. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta swing it around your head. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want <laughs> Seos in style. Yeah, I don't want anybody going out into the crowd. I don't like that. Yeah. I'm gonna send you guys a video of this bass. It's just like he swinging his bass around his neck and it was so awesome. I know exactly <laughs> cool. the one you're talking about. Is it the one where he does it like multiple times? Yes. And then he That's starts like spin awesome. kicking yeah. and shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also want to shout out Magic Beans, who was playing in Asbury on uh, Thursday oh, night. Fuck. I walked to the beach during Rival School set, and uh, they're playing a. <laughs> and I, there was seemingly no one in the entire town. It was very quiet. Do you know who sings that song? No, I don't. Me neither. But it's such like a recognizable riff yeah. that's like, oh yeah, I know what song that is. It's probably a very like licensed song. I feel like it's probably in a lot of things. Yeah, we'll probably get. Yeah, I was gonna say great. So this episode's not making it. <laughs> you think that my voice is gonna? Ch- you could no. Shazam my voice. I did. Perfect pitch, dude. That's I've never Shazammed anything. You should try it. It's fun. The only Shazam I recognize is the uh, the '90s movie where Shaq was a genie. <laughs> dude, that movie's cool. You ever see that? Oh yeah. And everyone thought that um who did ever everyone thought that it, that it was uh, everybody says that it's a Mandela effect and that yes. movie actually was Sinbad so it's Kazan with Shaq Shazam with Sinbad I think whoa there's two so it wasn't so, the first kid so uh, that was Sinbad <laughs> <laughs> so I think the actual movie is called Kazam and it's Shaq but you're people, right that but is people true. think there's a movie called Shazam starring Sinbad and that just never happened but that doesn't exist that does not exist okay um yeah you're right it is Kazam yeah uh the the only Shazam I recognize is the music rec- recognition mm-hmm. app, apparently. And hell yeah. Not a, not a brag, but like we were like top top stars. Or, time. oh damn. Do you guys know, this is this will be a fun little trivia game. There's a, a popular music artist whose nickname is Bobby Shazam. See if you can guess who it is. Uh, Bobby Shazam. What, uh, what kind of artist? Uh, popular music artist. Uh, is it Mr. Beast? No. No. I don't know how to say it. Too, uh, it'll give it Bobby away if I say it too much. I was on his Wikipedia Bob, the other day. Bob Marley. No, his name's not Bob, actually. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby Ramon. Oh, like that's a user. No, oh. it's Kid Rock. Kid Rock's nickname is Bobby Shazam. Oh, really? For some reason. Yeah, I don't, would have never guessed. I was on his wiki the other day, and I was like, damn, hard name. Bobby Shazam. I'm more of a Joe C kind of head, so I don't really pay attention <laughs> to Kid Rock. I like the crazy Rest looking drummer. Rest in peace. Just yeah, the, dead. Drummer. Aww. the drummer in like the 7-Eleven outfit at Woodstock. Yeah, yeah. yeah, she's really good. You know what? Oh, not ah, Kid Rock. Limp Biscuit. Mm. Anyway, anyway, if you're watching this, and yeah, we were talking out, about it the other day. I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was saying, if, if you're watching this, hold your thought though. If you're watching this, we still got two more shows to Philly and DC, so come mm. out to those shows. What were you saying though? Um, I already forget. The, uh, other, the other day, the other day, what was I doing the other no, day? I was playing a show with you, Fox, Josie, Limp Biscuit, uh, Woodstock, Seven Eleven. It's gonna be really good too. We gotta find it. <sighs> anyway, IHOP. Yo, IHOP let me down. We went to IHOP. Yeah, days. I'm a, I'm down. an ardent IHOP I've truther, IHOP. and it, it was it was mid. Oh, it I, I think I honestly probably had the the best quality food out of ever. Yeah. Looking at your guys and your reviews of them. Yeah. But even mine was. A little lackluster. I think it was one of the worst breakfasts I've had in quite a <laughs> quite a, quite a long time. It made my stomach hurt all day. <laughs> Dude, Coffee we need hit. to have a drop that's like epic slam. Yeah, epic slam. Is these buttons? <laughs> yeah, that's the, yeah. Oh, bomb no. That's an applause. <laughs> okay, close enough. <laughs> um, it might be super loud too. I really have no. Idea. Sorry, my listeners. Bad. No, I, I think it, yours good. They love it. Um, yo, can we talk about a uh, homegirl from New York? Oh, uh, can we say her name? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to put her on blast. No, let's let's keep her name out of it. Yeah. Well, we can say her first name. She was really sweet. She was very she was nice. Gail. Um, yeah, okay. I feel like it's kind of weird to talk about her, but yeah, you know <laughs> <what>? <laughs> um, well, at least okay. I'm not gonna talk any yeah. further about her because I do feel like it's weird to just talk about a person that we met for four seconds yeah. in New York City. But she did. She was an aspiring. I shouldn't say aspiring. She's a musician. Mm-hmm. She, but she just graduated from. Berkeley School of Music and gave us her card. She was at the show. Yeah, yeah. Um, I kind of feel like she was just walking by and entered yeah. a show that was playing music. She was seemingly having a great time. Oh, having a great night. Very she was nice very nice. Person. Yeah. Um, but very... Green. I don't want to say green because that makes it sound like she doesn't know what's happening, but she did say it was her first night in New York City and she moved there to like network and 
you know, yeah. talk to musicians and stuff. So she was like, yeah, I'm just trying to talk to as many musicians as I can. Mm -hmm. And all of us like, pulled away and we we're like, God bless her, man. But she's in for fucking hell. This she, her, was like, <laughs> she was so like not worn down by New York City. Like, oh, yeah, I'm just so like I'm just trying to just trying to like link up and collaborate and stuff. And we were just like, Godspeed, sister. But God damn still had like a lust for like like a yeah two yeah, like passion in the eyes of like oh i'm gonna make it in the big city and i was just like oh man i hope i hope it works she might she very well may but i was yeah. like yo i'm so excited to get out of here right <laughs> yeah. now oh yeah so we were like, literally about to pull out and just like cars were honking yeah. and shit and i was like i hope you have a great time yeah. here but i do want to shout this shout her out as a person like yeah, she might got it. She might, she might I get hope it. So, dude. I, I mean, I, she was nice. I really yeah, actually did very... think she was cool and not like usually when someone comes up to the window, it's <laughs> yeah. like, fuck. No, she wasn't punishing. She was cool. And it was actually a really nice interaction as opposed yeah. to I thought it was about to be like, a, hey, can you guys leave? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I thought she was somebody's like niece or something. I was mm. about to be like, hey, can you guys like move <laughs> so we can access this van? Um, but no, just a sweet gal that. Wish her all the best. Wants to see her name in lights, I suppose. Or maybe not. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, it was a very funny thing being, as a 37-year-old guy <laughs> that's been a musician for a long time to be like, I wish you well. Yeah. I can't <laughs> read music the for the head. life of me, but... <laughs> After a show that kind of beat us down, we sat and waited for the show for, like, what, seven hours? <laughs> yeah, I yeah. took a nap there, bro. Yeah, yeah. I took a nap yeah. at a venue. I used to do that, but... I I also felt trapped there. Like I feel like mm -hmm. I wasn't allowed to leave. Yeah, and being in like New York City, there's yeah. so much shit we could have done. I guess. Yeah, but. I know. It's, that's the funny part. There's nothing around here. <laughs> I fucking hate New York so bad, so much. Good. Yeah, Brooklyn. Now Respectfully, we're in lovely Connecticut, and the fall foliage is <laughs> busting right now. Oh, dude, the fall right foliage now. is pretty nice. I see some reds, some yellows, all the autumnal hues of Ooh. Mother Nature. I guess we should. We could have. Turn the camera the other way, and you really would have got uh, a grasp of it. But you know, dude, you the can sun imagine. like uh, defining our silhouette behind us. Yeah. Oh, do you, you have a B-roll camera? We could just kind of like. Yeah, I do. I got the other camera here too. That'd Maybe. be so funny. I'll just use my iPhone. Yeah. Nice. nice. <laughs> yeah, we'll post a video in yeah. the description. <laughs> we'll post a video uh, on our Instagram. I did. I did post that picture. So if you're watching this, uh, I guess it's already expired. Uh, Sorry, shit. you snooze, you lose, everyone. That's why you got to follow the Instagram. You don't miss out on great <laughs> moments of me posing every three weeks. <laughs> you just posted this story like had to grind for this view. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, here we are. Sunday afternoon. S Sunday afternoon. Church was great this morning. The sermon was amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine doing that. I, I feel like I'd be tor that would be torture. I was torture. thinking about that. I was like, yo, some people go to church every Sunday. Yeah. I mean, some people go more often than that, which is... I'm sorry to say, unhinged. Truly, God bless them. You just stay at your house, dude. Yeah. I went to Do you a believe in God near your house? <laughs> I think I probably talked to you guys, but I went to a wedding, and there was like a two-hour Catholic mass, Oof. and it was great. They were doing like ritual. He was like holding the cracker above his head and stuff, and like <laughs> shaking. Like, I don't know. I, yeah, whatever it was. The like, wafer. Dude, how, are not, how are people in that moment, like, don't become instantly self-aware, like... This is what is what are we doing here? It was super, and then there were like two young children, like probably like thirteen years old or something like that. Like there was like an altar boy and then a girl doing something, and they would come up and like help out with rituals, and then he would be like super rude and like sh like shoo them away. I was like, it felt really like that's weird. It's like a Saturday. I was like, don't you guys want to be at home playing video games or hanging out with your friends? You're stuck in church. Anywhere but here. Anywhere but here, dude. I lost my little felt thing. Picture a split a split oh, screen, okay? Got it. One is it. a live cast of a Catholic wedding. And one is a live cast of the Rizzler and the Costco guys, <laughs> who now everybody despises, except Mike. I, I'm, I might despise him now, too. People are still down with Rizzler. It's you a are Costco a Rizzler guy. supporter. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. You declared your support for him yesterday, I feel like. <laughs> Probably. If there's a civil war, you're going Rizzler. Yeah. Same. Big Justice is always trying to clown on him, and it's just that's, like that's not guys, fair, dude. On. Don't be a bully. Well, yeah. he's. I've been saying this all weekend. He's going to have an expose documentary come out. Within the next couple years. He has darkness in his eyes. Oh, that's AJ. AJ yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. That is not confusing. No, God too. bless Big Justice. Yeah. I feel like he's a victim in all of this. <laughs> yeah, true. Um, but yeah, if I just split screen between a Catholic wedding and those retards, I would totally watch them. And I feel like that says a lot. Yeah. I find more enjoyment out of them than... I have uh, more of a religious <laughs> experience watching the fucking 
<laughs> the Rizzler just touch his face nonsensically and do whatever else little fat kids do. Was I telling you guys that a friend got a, a cameo from the Rizzler for his birthday? Yeah. And it was like a minute of the dad talking and then just like 30 <laughs> seconds of the Rizzler just showing off an action figure. I don't think they even said happy birthday. I think they were just like, here's what we're doing right now. Here's a, a minute of our life. I think that's really cool. Actually. It's kind of awesome. That's kind of what, kinda what you want. Yeah. <laughs> he also yeah, got a slice of life. Also got one from Shoe Nice, and Shoe Nice just was unhinged too. It's great. Do, do young kids still know about Shoe Nice? Because he's not like on YouTube anymore. Shoe Nice is kind of like the. Um, he's like an icon to me. He's a little like um, the Don the Don Imus of YouTube. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like he's the, he's <laughs> the OG bother. of the of the the thing, but he's not. He not in, everybody knows him. He invented the mukbang, maybe. He invented something. <laughs> yeah. He would just eat and drink things. He led to the mukbang. Well, he was definitely the originator of eating things that you're not supposed to eat. Yeah. Like well, a he bowl has of a... toilet paper. Dude, I watched, there was a little documentary <laughs> on him, and his mom used to leave him at home for, like, a long time, and he would just have to eat whatever. And then I think he has that disease, pica, where you, like, eat stuff that's not food. <laughs> it's just, like, a weird disease people have. So that's cool, right? That's fun. That's it. Yeah, no, yeah. no, like uh, strange addictions. Like, girl would eat her pubic hair or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, the I remember I watched one of those, and a yeah. woman was obsessed with um, eating mothballs, and her son was like, <laughs> "Mom, you gotta stop eating the mothballs. It's so weird and disgusting." And she's just like, mm, "Mothballs, <laughs> <They're> so me." <laughs> There's a lady, a lady who would eat her couch, and then a lady who would eat deodorant. I remember. It's all about eating, I guess. I like the guy that fucks his car. Oh, weird. Sticks his dick in the tailpipe. There was definitely someone who dated a ride at Knobles. What dated? <laughs> they were like, I think, I think <laughs> they, they serious. I, no, I think they legally got <laughs> married to it somehow. Is what? Yeah, it, uh, I'll have to see if I can find the clip and send it to you guys. But it's like, it's kind of sexual at first. They're like, oh, look at its jib, and they're like rubbing the grease from the ride all over their face and stuff. It's jib. It's bra- It's very. Uh, he looks so regal. Look what does jib mean? Yeah, in that context? I think it's like a piece of the your... like no no like a piece of the thing like it's like like uh. a ship would have a jib or a bow or a stern or whatever. Maybe not. Maybe well, I'm wrong. Who am I to judge who you want who you can and cannot love? You know, if it's you true. want to love, you're Jay Clark, brother. Oh, fuck. I you yo I didn't you can you. judge a motherfucker <laughs> dating a fucking amusement park ride. That should be judged because that's a mental illness. <laughs> I'm gonna find the clip. You know what I mean? Like I uh, live and let live to a degree because then it's like. I'm not gonna tell you not to do it, but I'm gonna judge you for sure. <laughs> if you're dating a roller coaster, you should be judged for that. That's bizarre behavior, and you should probably seek help. Yeah, yeah, you're probably not wrong there. If huh? I was dating a car, I would want my loved ones, maybe not in the moment, because I would obviously be having a manic episode or something. <laughs> I'd look oh. out for you. Is that him? It's he might a, not be. I think it might a, be a woman. That's a picture of Shane Gillis. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is female Shane Gillis. The the video is called "How to Get Intimate with an Amusement Ride." It's got six hundred forty four thousand views from twelve years ago. Twelve years. It's uh. And you and you've watched really too. It's the fun. I mean, I worked at Canobles. I had to watch it. That's, that's part of the uh, fucking uh, it's my orientation video. Yeah. <laughs> if this person shows up, do not let them fuck this ride. Are they trying to get a free ride? You know. Oh, that's kind of oh, smart. Maybe that's yeah. that's my husband. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Sh- they're, that's part of it. She, they, she like gets jealous when other people ride it. I think. Whoa. Yeah, it's weird. Hey, it's a town. It's a town roller coaster. Everyone gets a ride. That's right. It's a town roller coaster. Let me try to sit on the seat. Hey, take a take a squat. Yeah, seat, dude. Do you want to sit up here? No, I can move. I'm okay, right here. This is probably this is probably even better. In the cut. In the cut. Cut. Oh, <sighs> oh well, yeah. Oh yes. How's that feeling? This is pretty nice. All right, I'm giving. I'm doing another drop. Getting, oh, my electro. Dropping. Bit. We trying A. I'm an A agent is. of chaos. I have no idea what A was. Do D. So Boston. So Boston. Yo, I have a question. Every time I was at the when we went to the be, to the rest stop, mm-hmm. and I had the shit. Every stall I went in, I went in like three in a row before just giving up. All of them had shit inside the bowl, like. Mm. Not turds, but just like leftover yeah. pieces of shit that just like weren't in the water. And I'm like, how does that happen? Big, <laughs> so big like dump hovering over it and swirling Dude, around. Yeah. Like big the water dump. wasn't even touching it. I was just like, I don't know how that shit even get there. And it was in three different toilets. Our motherfuckers just like. They think they're done. They're getting up. I'm like, oh. I don't know. I mean, trucker stomachs have got to be the most fucked up stomachs in the world, right? Yeah. yeah. I would imagine so. I mean. They're probably not far off from like touring. 
bands. Yeah. They're probably worse. And they're oh, they're definitely worse, but like they're in that trajectory. They're touring forever for life. <laughs> they're on tour for life. That forever. sounds like a miserable existence. God bless them though. Thank you for bringing the goods to the world. Yeah, we need you. Yeah, thanks for my overnight uh package. I needed that the next day. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't have survived. I couldn't have gotten up and gone to the store. <laughs> it is nuts when you're like it can come at like a, in like a few hours. You're like, yeah. damn, I can just show up at my door in a few hours. Dude, that happened yeah. one time. Something arrived from it was like an eBay purchase. Uh-huh. I got it the next day. <laughs> like I, they like somehow they must have gotten the order, already been at the place, shipped it, and it got from like Louisiana to Pennsylvania in like less than 24 hours. It was crazy. What the? I love that. What the Sh- hell? Shout out Fender for always coming through with that shit too. Dude, I love when you order yep. something from Fender and you use a an artist code and they overnight it. It's the Dude, it's like Christmas morning. They hook it's it up. awesome. <laughs> um, it's like Christmas morning if you had to wait around all day for the fucking to go- I mean, if I if I get a, a guitar delivered, I have mm. it delivered to your house. Yeah. Because if I have it delivered to my house and I miss it, it will be stolen in one second. Mm-hmm. I like it, dude. It's like a little. It's like if I get a little excitement out of it too when stuff comes to my house. Ooh, it's the best. It's like, ooh, what's in here? And the guy backs up in the driveway and puts <laughs> it right next to the, the, the garage door. I'm like. Hell yeah. I'm addicted to spending money. Yeah. Uh, Do they have like poker, refab or, re, re, or uh, rehab for that? Probably. You yeah. Can, for spending money? I'm sure there are people that are addicted to spending money. I'm $30,000 in credit card debt. You all heard <laughs> that one. Luckily, I'm not in, like, I guess technically I'm debt. I'm in debt in that I make car payments and I. Good debt. Yeah, like, not like I'm not. My credit cards aren't maxed out and shit. I've recently been delving into that. A little bit of credit card debt. <laughs> Pretty awesome. <laughs> a little bit or a lot of it? Um, a decent amount. We'll start your GoFundMe. <laughs> Thanks, man. <Yes>. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's fine. Um, well, I guess we're paying Mike for this episode. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Please subscribe to the page. No, we got to pay. <laughs> no, it's, you know, it's, it, it's not like life. Any, like I had a friend one time who was like tens of thousands of dollars yeah, in debt. And I was bad. like, you're never getting out of that, man. No. Yeah, because then if you somehow like luck into money, you're like, well, I'm not gonna exactly use it all, paying off all this pay off my credit card. Yeah, you're like, well, that's gonna just stay there. But yeah, I don't spend money like to a to my. I mean, technically, it's to my detriment because yeah. it would be much better if I had more money. But dude, I just what kind of life is that? The way I think about it is mo money, mo problems. That is actually yeah. true. So I just make. Almost no money, and it's great. No money, no problems, no regrets. But, dude, I don't have kids. I don't have, like... Yeah, the, the cats are still eating. I like to live my life with as few responsibilities as possible. And because of that, if I start to fantasize about a certain guitar, I will buy the guitar. <laughs> hey, we were hyping up Mod Shops today. They got, hey, if you're listening Mod Shops, give some more uh, options for the Jazz Master. Yeah, the Jazz Master. Yeah, that would be the nice. Mod Shop... Um, uh, whoever manages the Fender Mod Shop is an <laughs> avid listener of our podcast. <laughs> oh, guys, listen, they're talking about us. Come on in the <laughs> room. <laughs> Dude, well, while we're on the topic, mm. I think that the Fender Mod Shop is the, uh, the, the coolest thing that they offer. Why would I buy a model that comes in four colors when I could just get exactly what I want in any finish? Mm-hmm. Woo! <laughs> And it's an American-made guitar. Oh, it comes with a case. God bless America. It's just like, dude, I don't know. It's yeah. it's um, they're quality That's as hell. It. Both my strats I've bought that way are some of the nicest guitars I've ever played. The fact that it comes in a case is so sick. That is nice. It's like, oh, I don't know if the case is super nice, but it's at least hard case. Yeah. I mean, dude, I would fly with it. Yeah, I would my... too. It wouldn't be like my first option, but no. I think it would be okay. Probably better than some other cases I've I've flown with in the past. Oh, True. yes. So yeah, yeah. God bless. Uh, what's uh Fender? But fuck the TSA. You know that's what Always. I'll say. That's what I'm getting my back piece done. Um, I was talking to somebody about the TSA. Did you see the thing going around where it was like you they can see your penis when they scan you at the yeah, TSA? <laughs> we we were like talking to someone. And they're like, oh, my brother's in the TSA, and I was like, we were like, ask him, yeah. ask him. And he didn't understand the gist of what we were asking, so she ended up talking to her brother about penises for like 20 minutes. <laughs> and then he was like, oh yeah, no, that's not true at all. He's like, you can't see that shit. Even my huge hog? I don't, apparently not. Fuck. 
Yeah. They can't see my massive dick print for, through the front <laughs> of my pants. Hey, maybe that. I don't know. They can't see my m- monkeys type blue balls. <laughs> what kind of type? monkey was that? I don't know. Some kind of baboon, probably, right? I don't think so. Because baboons have big blue butt cheeks. They do have big blue butt, big blue butt cheeks. Do you think female monkeys see? Because their dicks are just out. They're like, yeah, he kinda, he's kind of got a small dick. I'll pass on him. Uh, or is that not what they're looking for? In, in I think the it's mates? the other way around. I don't think the females choose. The females like present to the males. <laughs> yeah. Right? Uh, right. In, the, in the wild, I think most of the nice. time it's literally yeah. just non-consensual. Just like rape is occurring at all time. Yo, let's cancel the monkeys. Nah, Let's like cancel monkeys. the creatures, man. <laughs> creatures are going down. All these, all those vegans out there, man. Mm-hmm. Are, you're forgetting that cows rape each other. Yeah, you're forgetting that <laughs> cows are all women. Actually. That's literally like what the, <laughs> some people talk about. I'm like, what is that noise? It's a like a generator of some, or like a compressor. Yep, air <laughs> compressor. Yeah. But what the hell do um, they need that for at the venue? We've also been arriving Drinks either maybe? like way early or way late at all these shows. We don't really know when load in is. No. Have we arrived late once? Oh, we well, no, late, we, we were not late, surprised. but we rolled up and somebody was there already sound checked. <laughs> like, well, they arrived incredibly early. Yeah. We haven't really gotten much data in terms of uh, when to get here. Eh, it's not a data tour. No. Nah, not a data tour. No, not a it's data. It's a fun one, especially if you want to come see the show and you live in Philadelphia and Washington, D.C. The Atlantis and the First Unitarian Church. Yeah, I'm excited to play the Atlantis. Atlantis is cool. Nice green rooms. I like nice green mm. rooms. Oh. I love when there's a nice green room. Like a little Diet Coke yeah. there or something. <sighs> we can make that happen. That would, that would go hard. Uh, yeah, we'll be in D.C. right before the election. Um. So who are you guys voting for? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not voting yeah. and neither should you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just die. Don't vote. Um, it's happening yeah. whether you want it to or not. Like, <laughs> whoever yeah. wins, they're just going it, to... It is what it is. Right? I feel <laughs> like at this point, it says a lot more to just, like, protest voting than voting for someone that is the lesser of two evils, which at this point, I don't really buy into that at all. Um, People have started doing the thing where they're like, I was coerced into voting for Joe Biden, and we thought that we would get in there and then we would push him further left. It's like, why did you think yeah. that? <laughs> Yeah, that's people, like, coping, basically. Yeah, they're trying to, like, rid themselves of any kind of guilt. Let's be uh, a new to your pets, though, for sure. Yeah. yeah I'm, Yo, I'm a Bob Barker, too. We need to stop caring about politics and caring about uh, the things that are in right in front of us. Yeah, no merch cuts. Better people at venues. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Pitbull said. I call it politrix. Ooh. He Dale. Got, <laughs> brother cooked with that one. Dude. <laughs> That's Mr. Worldwide, bro. Yeah. He ain't telling no lies. Yeah. Fuck, dude, Pitbull. We got to get him on here. Yeah, Mr. Worldwide International. Dale. He's um, What's up? Are we going to eat pizza again tonight? <laughs> I'm a little cooked on pizza, but I'll eat it. Because you ate pizza twice last night, right? By accident. I was. I went out. We played Boston last night. Uh, I went out for a walk. Mission was to get ramen. Saw a line, had my AirPods in, so I was like, just waiting this line. I was having a nice time listening to music. Yeah. <laughs> waiting in the line. I was like, oh, it's for pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Got two slices. Damn, you jumped in line not knowing what it was. I, I obviously I knew what it was because it was like Joe's pizza. <laughs> but like I, it was just a line. I thought it was funny to just stand in the line. I was waiting this line. Like normally I would be like, fuck that. I'm not waiting in the line for a slice of pizza. But, but hey, nothing else we're in to Boston. Do. Man. Hey, I'm walking here. What was better, Pinocchio's or Joe's? Uh, I think Pinocchio's is better than Joe's. Hell yeah. P- Pinocchio's, Pinocchio's was good. I never had it Boston. before. Very I good. liked it. Joe's in New York though is uh, is is good. Uh, Joe's oh, yeah. in Boston is not the same. It, but it has like uh, the the sauce is really good. I think it's, it's more sweeter. We will it's have to get robust. We will have to get Domino's at some point. That's non negotiable. Yeah, maybe tonight. <laughs> Triple pizza. Um, at this point we will be home every other night. Oh right, fuck. <laughs> oh fuck. So, so we I can guess... maybe get it yeah, you can on get the way it. home <laughs> tonight. Maybe I'll get it by myself. Yeah. Yeah, let's get it tonight on the way home. I'm down um, for that. Get it and just eat it on the ride. But I would like to try the spots here that I don't know. I... Pizza's great. Sally's, Pepe's and Modern, I guess, are the places. Is that the new one? When Johnny know. gets here, we'll we'll grill him about yeah. what the pizza <laughs> yeah. situation is. Because I could live or with it, live with or without the dude. I think I'm ha- starting to have strokes. Yeah, just like mi- minor ones. I can't like I try to say something and my brain it literally will just like glitch for three seconds. Yeah, that happens. Yeah, it happens. I'll get you. What is that? I'm I convinced know. I have like a terminal illness. I have been for many my whole life. I've been like I have I have three terminal illnesses and I just don't know about them. 
I thought I was developing a stutter because I'll say a sentence, say, uh, say a get halfway through the sentence and start it over, and I'm like, damn, I suck. <laughs> I say, I say, I say, I see it on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By the way, we've already talked about this, but man, I've been rewatching The Office, mm -hmm. and I know that it's regarded as cringe now, all these years later, but man, it really might be one of the funniest shows of all time. Nar dog. It's really just Pam and Jim that are like insufferable. Everything else is pretty funny. As much as I wanted to hate on it, we just quoted it the entire time. Dude, I, <laughs> I refused to rewatch it for so long. And then I think I just randomly was like, I'm going to put the first episode on because that episode is a little like, I think that might be the episode where the person has to come in because Michael does the the Chris Rock bit. The first episode? Yeah. The racial sensitivity one where he's like, oh, I'm not though. a woman, am I? And they have like the cards on their head or whatever. No. Is that, that, that one? Later? I don't know. Maybe it's because, a long time since maybe it's because uh, he has it because he was telling the Chris Rock joke about how there's a difference between black people and n words. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> and he's like, someone's like, well, the gist of the joke was he's like, you're butchering it. <laughs> <laughs> you're butchering it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I gotta come up. My yeah. butt is falling asleep. Dude, hop up here. Let me get up there, brother man. His butt's oh. sleeping. Dude, I'm shocked the band hasn't rolled up yet. I thought for sure we'd be chatting here. Someone. Would yeah, roll up. you know I am, but I'm also not. <laughs> yes, facts. I have to pee. You can go for it. Yo, do you guys think? Obviously, um, me and Jake are married men, but mm -hmm. do you think you guys would date um, under different circumstances? Yeah. You would date someone with kids. Um, yeah. How old are the kids? I think that would really. Uh, forty and forty-five. Yes. <laughs> uh, Adopted children. <laughs> no. I don't want to be like. Logical. Someone's. How do I put this? I'm gonna go. I, I'm not. I wouldn't seek out to be like. Oh, I want to be a dad, so I'm gonna be someone's stepdad. Mm -hmm. uh, but if they had kids that are like eight and ten, they could just call me Jake. You know, like I d I marry I hang with your mom, kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. Because it's an, almost not, it's not impossible, but it's going to be hard to find, you know. I think, I, I don't know. I, if, I guess if I really liked somebody and then found out they had kids, I might be like, well, I'll, I'll try it. But they got like huge yeah. cans, you know. But I mean, kids? like, dude. Yeah, the kids got a huge the kids can. suck. There's rebel schools. If the kids <laughs> suck, I would have to be, I would definitely have to be like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really yeah. cut out for all this. Kids would definitely be a factor. But no Sandusky. I do like kids. I just don't <laughs> like the responsibility of taking care of them. I think it's a little diff different if you're like in the early stages of dating. Like, you know, like, oh, I've only known this person for a year. I'm, you're not like their father. You have to care for them and everything and like develop a relationship with them. But you're not like their dad, you know? Yeah, but I think eventually you become... Depending on the circumstance, mm -hmm. yeah. you're supposed to kind of become a second or third parent. <laughs> for sure. You don't pay for them at like <laughs> yeah. dinner. You're like, well, I got this covered. But. Yeah. Well, yeah, we're going to split it three ways, actually. <laughs> what, his dad doesn't pay fucking child support? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dude, child Two support is crazy. Yeah. It's expensive. It's really expensive. I don't Damn. know how people live. I don't. I think a lot of people end up going to jail for it. Because <laughs> yeah, I've I've I see court cases and it's just like, all right, you owe four thousand dollars a month and this and that. I'm like, what homie's making that? Like, yeah. that's a lot of fucking money, and they're that's supposed to live. Shit. The guy's Can't got it rough out there, dude. John and Kate plus eight. He must be having a tough go of things. Eight kids. He's a DJ now. I'd see him walking around the Reading Mall all the time. He's a sad man. <laughs> oh, he looked very, He's a very sad. sad fella. Um. He's an Asian guy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Good for him. Shorter, bald Asian man, I believe. He's bald? Probably At this now. point, definitely. Yeah, he was definitely balding on he the show. He dated like. the Karen of all. Oh, yeah. Fuck, dude. Kate. Yeah, she did have the, the yeah. Karen haircut. She kind of created that it. Is, that is the worst haircut any human being can have. <laughs> Why would you see that and be like, that's fire? <laughs> yeah, that's for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is real strange. Like, the back looks like they fucked it. Like, the back looks like... They didn't know what to do, yeah. and they just hacked it up, and they're like, it's in the back. They can't see it. Yeah, <laughs> It looks like you don't know that's what the back of your head looks like. They do that thing with a mirror when you're at the, at oh, the yeah, barber. Yeah. Like, all right, check it out. You're just like, Dude, I haven't got that perfect. At, at all. I mean, I have long hair, but like, True. you too. But do you get that with long hair? No. I hate, yeah. I Only short black hair. out when I get my hair cut. Yeah. Dude, I always take my glasses off when I get my hair cut, and then when they show me that, I'm like five feet away from the mirror. Like, so I'm like, 
I can't see what the fucking back of my head looks like yeah. on that little mirror that you're holding behind me. <laughs> great, it looks great. Yeah, dude, I clam up when I get my hair yeah. cut. The rat tail looks good. Well. You can keep that. Clams. Clams. <laughs> Is that Johnny right there? He just appeared. Oh so. huh? yeah, I'm pretty sure that's him. I was just wondering the same. Right. Oh yeah, while I'm thinking about it, Dante asked if we could uh, get him into the show tomorrow. Dante, tomorrow. okay, we got you, brother. Yeah, I said. Uh, What's his name? Dante from. I actually Big forgot Daddy. to respond to him, but but I need to. That's what I've been. Dante, you don't listen or watch this podcast. I'm ninety nine percent sure, but I have been very bad at responding to your text. And I apologize. Yeah. But if anyone knows Dante, <laughs> give him a text from us. Yeah, give him a text. Hey, listen to pod. Let him know that I'm <laughs> getting back to him. Oh, Sam's here too. Oh shit. Oh shit. All of anxious. Actually, I'm gonna text Dante oh, right shit. now. All I right. Feel, I feel bad that I didn't respond. I have his name written down. We're all good. Swag City, Swag City. Bitch. All right, should we get should we get into the show? Yeah, we're at like forty five minutes, some forty three. Uh, I'm gonna cut about twenty minutes over. So yeah, we got nice. a good, we got a good ten minutes here. Perfect, perfect. Uh, unless you want to dive more. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah we're not done. We're not Kay. done. We're, we're not. Still we need going. to wait until one of these savages comes over so we can get them to say something racial. On oh the yeah, that's what we need. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't care. We can be done. I would, uh, it'd be cool if I had a fart that I could fart into the mic. Oh, that'd be so. Okay, nice. let's go for another couple minutes. <laughs> you can brew one up. I don't, I honestly, I kind of have to go to the bathroom. I think I'll shit my white pants. If I <laughs> <laughs> fucking, hmm. That would be awesome. All yeah. Right. Well, we're going to load in. Maybe we'll do another episode. Yeah, we can always do another episode, too. That's, That's true. true. So this is a good setup. I, I think it would be cool. I was saying it earlier. Show off the pack. Do it at the back of the van next oh, time. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We kind of just kick it there. All I right, guess. I'm down, dude. I don't know. I'm down, dude. We got batteries. We're, we're good to go. All right, everyone. Thanks for listening to the pod. And to do a special pod event, so we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.